Belgium. Landfill costs today are £50 a tonne. In excess of that, you include transport from the city centre. But our recycling facility, 30 miles from here in Liverpool, we can separate cardboard, plastic, glass, aluminium, metal, timber, and reduce the impact of the environment and the cost of landfill. Schools in Liverpool is typical of a modern material recycling facility. In addition to having their own fleet of waste collection vehicles, they will also take waste from other waste collectors. The benefits of this is that with Gaskell's location close to the city centre, this can save time for waste collectors and the cost of transportation. All vehicles coming onto the site are weighed on the weighbridge. They will then release the waste into the loading bays and then they are weighed again to calculate the cost to the business. This facility will take all different types of commercial waste. This could include timber, paper, metal, cardboard, plastic, in addition to a range of other waste products which cannot be recycled. The waste separation process begins here and at the very start potentially dangerous product such as gas canisters are removed for the safety of the workers. These are stored separately and then disposed of in the correct manner. The very start of the process uses the small grab to remove the larger items which are placed to one side. At this point we will also separate certain metals such as, such as aluminium which has a good cash value, also copper. The remaining waste is fed into a shredder. This will reduce the size of the waste and also tear open any bags which could contain plastics, paper and other recyclable products once it gets onto the manual picking line. The shredder also serves to reduce the size of waste and as we'll see later, the smaller waste is separated of which we are charged less to landfill than the larger product. The 360 degree grab will now take the waste and load it onto a conveyor belt which will take it up to the first level. The product at this point is then fed into a shaker. The shaker removes again small sections of the waste which are then falling through the holes and the large waste goat carries on to the rest of the manual picking process. Here we can see the shaker in action and the small conveyor belt pulling the smaller pieces out. This conveyor belt is then fed upwards and passes through a rotating magnet. This will take out any metals which again may be recycled. The rest of the waste carries on its journey and then is fed through another shaker once again to receive the small product which is then fed down a chute and disposed of separately. For the remainder of the waste that was too large, this is fed onto the main conveyor belt for manual picking. As you can see in this section we are separating the cardboard which is placed down a chute and collected in bays below. White paper is also collected and put down its own chute to be stored in a separate bay. Plastic is also collected. Any waste that is missed at this point will then go into landfill which is not only not making a profit, but is also costing money. Wood is collected separately, and this is placed in the skip just off the main level. Metal is collected. This can be anything from car radiators to tin cans. Cardboard is also collected from outside. This may be manually sorted uh, before it comes mixed with the cardboard collected out of the bays and then fed up into a compressor which then bales the product and it can then be resold. Now that you've seen the process these are the bales that are produced that are going to be recycled to make new products. This is how we make a profit. This is the purpose of recycling. This is how we divert material from landfill. Thank you.